first we need to download XAMPP server so then go on new browser and click search for XAMPP and go to its download page from there you can see for windows then windows is use windows, linux, linux or mac and use mac ok click on mac next we need to go wordpress.org and from there we will press get wordpress and you will see the latest version for now it's 6.2 you just have to press over this button and the download will start you can see okay i have already downloaded so i will now let's go to our download folder and from here we will run the xamp server and if it will say yes or no then we have to click on yes to install it on the pc okay now we will see some errors but just ignore this and press ok and click on next you see all are checked those who are not available with that and see if all are checked not a single so you do that and click on next 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 default language in english and click on next and now it will install now i will pause it and it start once again it's complete so now it's com almost completed you can see just 25% creating uninstaller is left you can see over here and it's now almost done so after you complete this you will see such an interface and you have to uncheck this box you will want to control panel and just finish it next we need to extract the wordpress zip which we downloaded from wordpress.org and we need to extract it to a folder we have extracted over here and now let it be extracted for your kind of information let me say you that wordpress lets you design website even without coding it gives a very less amount of code for you you can just drag and drop in it so wordpress is the best thing for now for website development now let's rename this to a demo name the website which we are using so we we'll just rename. We have just renamed it, and we will just copy it, and we'll go to C, local we'll C, Zamp, and we we'll search for ST Docs. We go on ST Docs, and we we'll paste that folder over here. Now it will take some time. It depends on what's the size of your WordPress folder. Okay. And sorry, sorry, sorry. That's my mistake. and now it's copied okay now we need to go to the browser we need to search for local host slash php my admin and we need to create a new or you can see create new we will create the same name for the database which is we are using website now we will again go to local host slash our website name that is demo so local host slash we have demo, D E M O demo, which we are using, and we just press enter. Now, after that, it will take some time as it's first time for demo website to load. And after you it will load, you will see such an interface you can see right now, and it is in English. And we will now click on let's go to set all the things. We have to write the database name which we made, this is demo and username always username is root and password is nothing. Leave the password as it is and click next. Now run the installer and now we need to name our site. What will be the name of our site? So in my case it will be named as demo website. You can use your own for username. I will use the username as demo. And so password, you can use any password. I am using the simple password. But I request you not to use the simple password because it is used in many sites and you can hack very easily. Now we need to install WordPress. Now leave other things default. By entering your email, you can see. And now it has saved the password, my browser. So that doesn't matter. But now when we log in, it will autofill it. If you also want, then you can save in your browser. And just log in. And now, boom, you are here in the dashboard. In the dashboard, 
Let's start editing those where WordPress is set up. Now see how our website looks in the very beginning. Is, it looks something like this. You can edit it. Go here by clicking on themes and install new themes. I click on plugins. One thing I need to remind you, keep, please do not keep unused plugins. It can increase the size of the website and takes time to load. Okay? So that is all. If you want to add a new plugins, you go to add, add new and you can search for